Check this out, everyone. This tank is empty. What we got to do now is get some fish in it. If you guys like all things about fish, aquariums, DIY, all that good stuff, please consider subscribing to the channel. All right, you guys, so excuse the dirty tank, but here we go. We need to move these beasts into the 220. I'm hope, or well, the other one's behind the filter, but I'm hoping these guys are gonna love their new home. Here's what I got to say. Wish me luck. Uh, because these are big fish, like that, see? Don't freak out, come on. Yeah, these guys are going to be tough to catch. Moments later. There we go, there's one. Seconds later. There we go. Nice. These are monsters. Absolute monsters. All right. We need to hurry and get these guys into the 220 because we just have to do that. And uh, get this guy open. Uh, put this down here. Bam, shut that door. These guys, man, oh man, look at them. And they're crazy. All right. Whoo. Craziness, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Bucket of two massive, massive fish. They're going into the 220. They're going to love their new home. They're going to love it. All right. Look at this. Look at this. Man. Five gallon bucket, guys. Look at this. It's bigger than the five gallon bucket. Moment of truth. We're gonna take these guys out one at a time with the net. Oh man, don't flip out, don't flip out, don't flip out. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ooh wee. And now we gotta just get this one, which we got it right there. Stick it up. There we go. Nice. It's one thing that I was kind of concerned about. I was hoping they just weren't gonna hide all day. I was wanting to take these rocks out too, but it just wasn't gonna happen. All right, let's check them out, everyone. So here they are. Been in the tank for just a little bit. As you can see, they look, like I've been saying, fantastic. A fish from South America. These fish definitely have some awesome looking markings and very neat looking pattern after their gill plate. And you can see why they're called the Zebrina Pike. They got those stripes at the end of their body right there at the end of the tail. These guys are definitely shy. They're always hiding down there. I do have a container of krill. I just had an empty uh, container of the pellets that I feed my fish. So I got enough ready to feed them and the fish in the fish room. So let's uh, put some in there and see if they're going to pop out and eat them. Look at these monsters. Yeah, let's add some more in here and see if they'll if they'll pop out. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Watch these guys go. Bam. Bam. So awesome. Such an awesome, awesome monster fish. Man, look at how these guys are doing after getting moved in here. Buco Noto looking fabulous. Anagenis looking dope. Tangerine Tiger, look at this guy, man. Woohoo! And the Niagara Ventor. Still settling in. The other ones are looking really, really good. 
man. So now that this 75 gallon tank is free, what am I gonna put in here? Give me some ideas down in the comments, guys. And we're talking any kind of freshwater fish. Uh, got some things that I'm gonna be doing different here in the fish room. So um, throw some ideas down in the comments, guys. Throw them down there, man. Man, look at, got, look at this guy, man. One of my original offspring from my group from how long ago. Really cool to still have one of these guys laying around. And, and this guy. I mean, dude, look at the fins on this thing. Dude. I mean, those things are insane. I mean, he flexing for you guys right now like mad. It has been a little while since I got these guys in here. They're settling in much better. Coming out of that little cave over there and swimming around a lot more than normal. So that is something that's very awesome and super excited about. Uh, we're going to go ahead and throw a little bit of food in here right now and uh, see how they react because they've had time to settle in. These are some beautiful, beautiful fish. All right, let's do it. Got some pellets. Gonna go up over here and try to keep this on the fish. Here we go, 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 here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Do it. That one got, got it, but like, come on, they're over here, come and get them. That dude chewing on his food. I'm going to shut the light off. These guys seem to do a lot better when the light's off. So, uh, see, look at that. It's already starting to leave that little cave. Come on. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful fish. Do some flashbacks now, everybody. So we're going to take a look at the Zabrina Pike from the day that I got them obviously to current day so as you can see this is when i first picked up these fish you can see obviously they are stressed out um not looking like they do today and obviously you will be able to tell that the size difference on these guys is much different but this is when i moved them from quarantine into a 120 in the fish room this was when i also had some spot face pike from what i can tell and remember i got the zabrina pike back in march of 2019 so it has been over a year since I have had these two pike and I couldn't be more happy. They are some of the most beautiful fish that I have seen. And obviously you'll see the progression of these guys. Look at them now. This is after I moved them out of the 125 and moved them into a 75 by themselves. Look at the color. Looks fantastic. As you can see, the reds in the fish are coming in a lot more now. You can see one has really red cheeks and their fins are all looking nice and red. All of that good stuff. It's exciting. It's super awesome to see when these fish are progressing like they did in this clip from a while back. These fish have never bred in captivity from what I know and it would be absolutely epic if this turned out to be a pair and they bred. The chances are very slim but you never know. Taking a look at these guys again in present day, look at how much redder the cheeks got on the one that wasn't as red. Plus, the contrast of the fish isn't as good as it was in the 75 because the background in here is similar to their color, so it doesn't pop as much, but you could definitely tell the difference. Well, what you guys think of that video? We got the Sabrina Pike here in the 220 gallon tank. So right now it is a South American tank. This is likely temporary. Definitely got some other ideas for this tank, but I didn't want to have nothing in the tank. It was important to me to make sure that I had fish in here so that the beneficial bacteria would stay alive and all that other good stuff. But uh, yeah, man, these things are looking awesome in here. They're finally starting to swim around the tank versus hiding in there all the time. They are hiding in there now because obviously they're like, what's going on? What's going on here? Like, you know, they're still scared. I bet you if I had other fish in here, probably wouldn't be hiding, but these things are huge. I gotta tell you, these things are huge, man. I mean, you guys saw them in the buckets. You remember seeing them in the buckets? Check this out. Look at this, man. Look at this. 
It's bigger than the five gallon bucket. I mean, those are massive fish in an aquarium. The biggest fish I've ever owned inside of an aquarium. But super cool, guys. Comment down below, everybody. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you guys like fish videos, please consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate each and every one of you for stopping in. We'll see you guys on the next one. Stay tanked.